create jobs which are interesting for people, uh, for the youth of this time, because uh, their, their aspirations have changed completely, the kind of jobs they want. And this would require, one, revamping our entire education sector, right from school to college to postgraduate. It would also require a lot of skill building because many people who do not go to the mainstream, how do you build skills? Because there are so many different types of jobs and the opportunity is so different. So I think it's important that skilling is given its importance. And for this, corporate India and the government would need to get together to build a curriculum which, is, which makes the youth employable. The other important point is our current education system is not geared for employability. Nobody can get a job straight out of college and I think that's, uh, that's somewhere we need to work on. The second thing where the government would need to work on is how do you continue with this growth? Because if you do not have growth in the economy, how will the people get jobs? The third one is creating new sectors like the manufacturing sector uh, which needs to be revived, the infrastructure because this itself will also create uh, further opportunities for the young. And I think one very important area that has remained left out is this entire research and development side. And how do you actually capture this talent, this huge amount of intellectual capital that the country has and keep it in-house of then of going away to another country and taking advantage. So India can actually create that and I think that could be something where we could fire up the youth or the youngsters in this country. The skill gap can only be addressed, number one, we need to understand which sectors the gaps exist first. There needs to be a realistic estimate made of it. And after you make the realistic estimate, then say, how do you skill resources in that? So that those skilled resources can be available to industry. Because today, we have a very funny situation. We have people who are qualified and don't have jobs. And there are companies which want to employ and can't employ. So there's a big mismatch. So the because this demographic dividend should not become a demographic disadvantage for this country. The most important is attitude. Because skills can be trained, attitude cannot be. So the most important quality one looks at attitude, the integrity and the energy levels that the individual has to do the job. See, people will go where uh, uh, economics drives jobs. So whichever job pays more money, you'll find more people going in there. At a certain point in time, IT industry was paying well, so people went there. This will keep changing, so I don't think this is any kind of uh, this thing. This will be as the, whichever sector actually grows, you'll find people gravitating towards that. And I think the youth will be uh, looking for jobs that are challenging, that challenge their intellect, that are interesting, uh, and that also pay them good money. So I think the order could be different, but these are the three drivers for youth when they look for a job. Put your head down, stay focused, uh, and uh, the world is yours, the future is yours. Because, and, and uh, one more thing that I would like to put across, do not forget the spirit of stewardship. Because <clears throat> whatever you do, you hold it in trust for the next generation. Because today you've got this advantage, because somebody's worked hard, don't miss that opportunity.